Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Jordana and I do beauty videos. Today I wanted to get ready with you guys shopping my stash and also using the new Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. You saw me using it in a recent video but I want to create as many looks as I can with it and also I want to rotate my makeup. I don't always want to use my Project Pan products because if you're here you know that I do a lot of Project Panning but sometimes I just want to shop my stash and use my stuff so that it doesn't get neglected. So if you want to see me playing with makeup then just keep watching. For foundation, I'm using my Tom Ford Sable foundation. This is a little bit darker for me, but since I have a little bit of a tan, I wanted to make the most out of it and then use this one. Okay, so it matches me correctly for my tan, and of course, I'm gonna use a lighter concealer. What I like to do th with this one is to rub it in on my finger and then apply it. I'm not gonna apply it on the center of my face yet because on my nose I'm gonna apply a pore filling primer. I forgot to apply it all over my face but I truly don't need it all over my face but on my nose it's a must have because I get super oily on my T-zone. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the primer and the one that I've been loving is the Timeless Smoothing Primer. This one I purchased it because I got, with 1500 points that I had, I got $100 gift card and I purchased this one with that because I wanted to try it and I purchased the mini. I'm obsessed with it. I can't wait to finish all of the rest of my primers to buy a big one of this one and focus on it as my only primer. So far, this one and the Laura Mercier Blurring Primer are my favorite pore filling primers. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit on my fine lines because I'm getting wrinkly right here. Maybe this will help me with those lines. If you guys wanna see a review of the foundation, I will leave a link below. It's a super old video, but my thoughts on it are the same. I'm gonna grab the corrector from Lancome in the shade Bisque and apply it to cover my dark circles. I placed it on the Charlotte Tilbury mini doe food container because I was running low on it and I really wanted to uh, finish it so I squeezed it out in there and now I'm more able to use it. For my cream bronzer I'm using the Rare Beauty in the shade Bright Side and this one I love to just swipe it on my face and then just blend it with a brush. I love this. This is one of my favorite cream bronzers if you want to see my review or just my ranking of my entire collection of cream bronzers i also have a video about that but this is so so good and it blends like a dream the brush that i'm using is the a24 by morphe and ariel the collab it's, i think a foundation brush but i use it for my cream bronzer always that same brush I'm gonna use with this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush in the shade Coastline. I was saying to one of my best friends that I'm obsessed with this blush and you only need the tiniest amount. It actually dries more on the matte side. I love the finish of it. You will see it. So I just squeezed that little dot. I will always do this with my cream blushes and then tap it on my face. I lowered the brightness so you guys could see the shade of it because I don't think the camera is picking it up so it's a like a toasty pink sort of if you mix a bronzer with a little a cream bronzer with a little bit of pink it's the same color for concealer I will go in with the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Swan and this flat brush from Refer in the number 21 and the reason why I do concealer after bronzer cream bronzer and cream blush is that if I went overboard it helps me clean it up and it helps me also to sharpen up the edges and to highlight my face the way that I want to. It's just my favorite way to do it so far because I can even grab a little bit of concealer that I have on my sponge and clean right here just to make sure that everything looks clean or sharp if I need it to be. I'm gonna go in with the Alter Ego eyeshadow base and I have a discount code for this and it's Jordana10. I will leave everything in the description box below if you want to get 10% of Alter Ego. They have beautiful palettes, you guys. I love the palettes. This is my first time using this eye primer, but since I know that the I Need a Nude palette has a little bit of fallout when it comes to the little glitters that they have in the new formula, I wanted to make sure to use a primer so that it can hold on to the glitters. Okay, you guys, so I will be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, the original one, 
to set my entire face. This is the most reliable powder that I could use and it's one that will work today because I'm wearing this foundation that it gets a little bit dewy. I'm also going to a birthday party with my toddler today, so I need my makeup to last. Now to brighten my under eyes, I will go in with my Laura Mercier in the shade Rose. This is the translucent loose setting powder tone up and since I've been finishing other powders I forgot about this one and I loved it when I first used it I couldn't stop using it and it has a peachy pink tone to it which I love to brighten my under eye for bronzer I'm going in with my Gucci bronzer and I wish I had this in the number one tone or color because I have number two and I feel that number one would work better for me and I'm using my Repro 05 to apply this um, bronzer. So before blush, I want to start with my eyes. So before that, I always apply my box on Plum Shot in the shade Flush. It's no shade whatsoever. You can buy it in any shade and it will do the same. It will plump your lips. So I let it work for a while while I do the rest of my makeup and then when I'm ready to do my lips, I remove the excess and apply my lipstick. Laura Mercier they sent me the new caviar sticks, a few shades, about five shades of the matte caviar sticks. And I have here one that is called Dark Cacao. Coco is my favorite one that has a hint of shimmer. You guys know that I've finished one or two of these before and I love it so much. So I wanted you to see the comparison of both of them. This is Dark Cacao. You can see it right there. And then this is Coco. So Coco is more on the cool tone side and then Dark Cacao has more of a warm to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little bit of both and I'm gonna use them as a base for the look that I'm gonna do because I wanna do something smoky but soft. And these are so good, you guys. I recently used the Merit Solo Shadow in the shade Rune as a base for this palette and I wanted to see the difference now that I have that fresh on my mind with the caviar sticks because they are my go-to cream eyeshadow and they're beautiful on their own okay so this is coco which is my go-to and these blend like a dream you guys you can see that i applied it directly on the lid and then if i do this i won't have any harsh lines they are just perfection and i can build them as i want you can see that such a huge difference from this one to the solo shadow from Merit. And then I'm gonna go in with Dark Coco on this side because this is a little bit of shimmer. So let's see if the matte one poses any trouble. Same brush, I just cleaned it on a towel. No, you guys, they blend like a dream. So if you're looking for a solo eyeshadow or an easy eyeshadow, I would choose the Laura Mercier ones over the Merit ones. They were both BR, but I've been using these for years and years and years and finishing them up. And I truly wanted the solo shadow to work with because Merit is another brand that I love, but I think these are way better. So I'm gonna even them out. Just so you know, since I'm a makeup artist and I teach makeup lessons, I recommend to people things that I know they're gonna use on the daily. I don't recommend big things that I purchase for myself because I do my makeup more on the glam side. And most of my clients that I've recommended the caviar sticks, I recommend one, one or two shimmery ones and then um, one or two mattes. They are set and they always repurchase them. Uh, it's an easy product to work with. It has the same concept as the Merit one, which is you never heat pan on eyeshadow palettes. Just buy one shade to do your go-to look and you only need one eyeshadow. With this one, I could do my wing liner, mascara, and I could have a smoky eye as easy as pie. Okay, you guys, so for my transition, I will grab big and stone at the same time because this is too warm for what i want and then this one i used on my last look so i will use both of them as my transition and see how this ends up looking and i'm using the morphe m504 on a side note that um primer from alter ego is working just fine you see that it's not holding on in this type of way that you guys know some primers you apply them and then you're gonna put eyeshadow and it sticks on them like crazy and then it won't blend easy so it's working well with the natasha denona eyeshadows since this is a new palette for me in my natasha denona collection one of you suggested that when i do the swatches for it 
um, that I should take the pictures of the swatches from lighter to darkest to see if they had any difference in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the swatches right now so that you guys can see and decide for yourself if this is a palette that you want. And remember that I use the Natasha Denona shadows either as the palette that as it comes with uh, and then I also use them as a collection of singles and I find these to be singles that will work wonders in my collection since I'm more into cool tones right now. Now I will grab the shade Silhouette which is this darkest shade right here and the Morphe JH40. This is a small tapered blending brush and I'm gonna use this to start creating a soft smoky eye. This is blending like a dream you guys and these are shadows that are not so far as pigmented from the start they're buildable because i bet that you can just make it super dark but they seem to be easier to work with than even other natasha denona shadows which you guys know is my favorite formula so if i'm saying that these are easier um if you were afraid of the pigmentation these are pigmented but buildable so and now let's see with a shader brush if i can get that shade to build up and be way more dark so that you guys can see if you can use it for a super deep smoky eye yes you can see it right there this could be used as a liner if you would like it to be a liner for sure and this is the shade silhouette by the way i've been so into matte looks that i want to try and see if i can start with a matte look and then i will do a little bit of shimmer so you guys can see uh, the shimmers in action. I will go in with the shade Fair, which is this cream eyeshadow and I think this is perfect just to uh, make this a brighter spot on my eye. And I'm using an older shader brush. This was a gift from my mom. I have about three of them and I use them all the time. This is from Natura. You guys, this matte shade is super pigmented. So even though it's light, it has pigment it holds its own for sure you can see it right there how it brightens and then on this part where you can see the transition of those shades i'm gonna do a shimmer and since i don't have a nail then it's perfect because i can use my finger uh, i'm gonna go in with the shade delilah first because this is i think the new formula oh my goodness yes i love that this is definitely sort of a topper he has a base, but it's sort of sheer. Okay, I'm obsessed. I've been so into cool tones, you guys, and this is the perfect eyeshadow color for me. If you guys saw me reviewing the Yaka palette, it was weird because I purchased that palette and I love the overall color scheme of it. But the reason and the color that made me choose it and made me buy it was the silvery tone, like the pewter tone that it came with. And this palette has a lot of those shades that I was looking for in the Yaka palette all on their own and it's more of a cool tone light to medium palette but I think you could do a smoky eyes with it so I think it would work for other skin tones if you're a darker skin tone please let me know below if you think this palette would work for you but I always make sure to uh, in time use them on my little sisters and they're both like a tan and a deep tan color and they have one it's on the warmer side and then the other one it's a cool tone dark skin color okay you guys so i'm removing my bake and i'm gonna be finishing the rest of my face and then and then finishing my eye look on my lower lash line and then adding the usual which is you guys know the wing liner and whatnot but this had basically no fallout for me. I don't know if it was the primer or I don't know if other people were messy with it. But I always do my eyes after foundation. So I'm used to a way of doing my makeup that I never get fallout on my face. And if I do, everything is so set that I can remove it easily with a brush. For highlighter, I'm using this one, which is the Laura Mercier Rose Glow. This I got about two years ago and then I got another one on another PR package. I decided to use it again and you guys now I'm obsessed. You can see how it catches the light so beautifully and it's sort of like the perfect highlighter for the I Need A Nude palette. I have the I Need A Nude highlighter and it's too gold for me and it's a little bit deeper so I can use it but this one looks better on my skin tone. And then for blush, I'll be using, to keep up with the theme, the Gucci Rose Beige color. I love these. I think this is one of those 
uh, blushes that <laughs> deserves the hype. I wanted to get more shades, but first, if I'm not using the ones that I have, I shouldn't be getting more. I love the packaging. I love the formula, and this color is wonderful. I wish, I don't remember if when they came up with the new colors, if they came up with another nude, because I would love more like a pale nude beige or a brownie nude. The brush that I'm using is my favorite for blush, is the Sonia G Detail Lotus brush. And they sell these brushes as individuals, and you guys, this is just perfection. Now to buff all of my face, I'm gonna go in with my holy grail. This is the Hourglass Radiant Light. I'm in lighting powder and I'm using the Sigma, so I don't remember the name, but it's a big dual fiber brush. You can see the difference right here and then right here. And then I forgot to do nose contour, so I'm gonna grab a small amount of the Gucci bronzer because it's so pigmented with my Ida brush from NARS, and I'm gonna contour my nose. Now going back with my I Need A New Palette, I'm grabbing the 05 pencil brush from uh, Wayne Gauze. And you guys know if Wayne Goss keeps making brushes because I feel like every time I go on Beautylish, it seems like it's sold out or not available. Yeah, I'm grabbing the shade Stone, which is the transition shade right here to keep it more on the cool tone side mixed with Big, which is the one that we used to create the transition. And then I'm going to use this for a transition on my lower lash line. And then with my Refer 29, which is one of my favorite brushes of all time, and the shade Silhouette from the palette, which is the darker brown that we use to smoke the outer corner. I want to just define my lower lash line. Defining your eyes can make such a difference. You can see this eye that I already defined it. It still has no liner whatsoever, and then this one that it's not. For me, this looks more beautiful. Like, it's it's way more defined, the eye looks bigger, and it also looks like you did your eye or your eyeshadow with more intention. You guys, so far I've been loving the palette, and I think this looks beautiful. I even used it to create a base for my wing liner that I'll be using a liquid liner for it. I also got from Laura Mercier the caviar eye pencils. What I decided to do today is maybe apply bronze on my lower waterline and then tuxedo on my upper waterline because the only liner that I use on my upper waterline is always black. When I use brown, I feel like there's something missing. This is bronze and I think it's the perfect shade uh, for this type of palette. I will let you guys know in another video if they smudge. I'm hoping that they won't, but if they're anything like the caviar sticks, they won't move. And so far they have pigment. This is a black liner from them. Sometimes when you're gonna apply a liner on the waterline, then you know if the liner will work because they're not as creamy on the waterline and then they will just be sheared out as soon as you apply them. That's why I always go back to the Rimmel Scandalize. Um, but this one, it did the job just fine. For my wing liner and my mascara, I always use the ones that I have open and I never switch it up even if I have other ones to open up or try and that's what I'm gonna keep doing because if not the mascaras will go bad on me and I think that's wasteful. So I'm using the McQueen New York pen eyeliner for my wing and then the Tartelle Tubi mascara which has become a favorite of mine for my mascara and I do two layers of it. I don't think that it's as tubing as it supposed to be because you get a little bit of black smudging when you try to take it off but it never smudges on you while you're wearing it throughout the day. I used to have a code with Jess Style, which is the place from which I get these pen liners. I always buy like four or five um, at a time so that I can have backups of them and that way get free shipping because these are about $5 to $6 and they work wonderful. So this is how the mascara looks with two coats on top and one on the bottom lashes. But you guys, this is beautiful. And now guys, to finish the look, I removed the box and plum shot with a Q-tip. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply Merit Slip, which I think it's the perfect cool tone nude shade for this eyeshadow palette. I just blow dried the, this part of my hair because it was driving me insane and now it's looking 
better. I will finish blowing it out after I finish this video, but I wanted to do the outro. You guys, I'm so excited for the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. I will keep using it. I will keep showing it on these type of videos, Get Ready With Me's. I know that tutorials on my channel are not as popular as Project Pan, but I want to just keep making them so you guys can see me trying the products that I talk about. For me, that's uh, important and that's the way that I know what to shop for myself. I watch reviews, I watch Get Ready With Me, so I see how the products perform and I buy them. I will leave everything that I use today linked below. On the new products that I tried, I'm uh, blown away by the I Need A New Palette. I also, you guys, love 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 with a passion the uh, caviar matte sticks from Laura Mercier you guys saw them performing and they perform just as beautifully as the original ones that have a little bit of shimmer and mattes are harder when it comes to creams than something that has a little bit of a glow because it, it doesn't necessarily uh, blend into the skin as easy sometimes products will drag onto the skin the Tarte for a smoothing primer it's amazing I would highly recommend it um, then I'm happy that I tried the combo for the Tom Ford and the Too Faced concealer because it worked wonderful. And I know that the foundation works beautifully and blends beautifully into the skin and it matches me right now so I will keep using that. The other one that I used um, on camera were the Caviar Eyeliner Pencils from Laura Mercier. I will keep you guys updated if they smudge or not but so far they look beautiful and it completely covered my waterline which is something that not all eyeliners do um that's it for today's video you guys i really enjoyed filming this type of video just getting ready with you guys and showing you products that i shop my stash for from my collection i love you guys don't forget to do uh something to support my channel with leaving a comment keeping up with the conversation i always leave a question in the comment section below subscribe hit the notification bell and everything that you need to do to be part of my community i love you and i guess i'll see you on the next one bye bye